Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the primer body on your hedge trimmer's carburetor, make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Note the orientation of the primer return and intake hoses, then disconnect them from the carburetor. Unthread the knob to detach the air filter housing. Use a T27 Torx bit to unthread the carburetor mounting bolts. Set the air filter base aside. Use a 10 mm wrench to loosen the locking nut to detach the throttle cable. You can use a small flathead screwdriver to remove the cable retaining spring. Now fully detach the cable and set the carburetor on a sturdy surface. Use a small Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the primer bulb and primer body components. Lift off the primer bulb and plate, then unthread the middle screws securing the primer body. Remove the old primer body and set the pump diaphragm and gasket aside. Prepare the new primer body for installation by aligning the pump gasket followed by the diaphragm. Now position the primer body on the carburetor and thread the middle screw. Realign the primer bulb and plate and replace the remaining four screws. Before you reinstall the carburetor, make sure the retaining spring is still on the throttle cable. Now realign the end of the cable in the swivel. Then position the retaining spring to secure the cable. Align the cable on the bracket and tighten the locking nut. Confirm that the mounting bolts have been inserted through the air filter base and the intake gasket is in place on the isolator. Now align the carburetor on the bolts, then thread the bolts into the isolator and tighten. Reposition the air filter housing and thread the knob to secure. Connect the intake and primer return hoses to the appropriate ports on the carburetor. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and your hedge trimmer should be ready for use.